Hey guys, it's your boy Abdullah Kiwande back with a new video. In today's video, we're going to do some get to know you questions about me. I got these 16 questions of Google, so let's get right into it. Let's get started. Just a reminder for all you guys out there that haven't, you know, subscribed to my channel. There's a red button down below, just click it and let's just get started with it, right? So what is your favorite way to spend a day off? Hmm, now that I'm thinking about it. My favorite way to spend a day off is just going shopping to be honest you know i love shopping especially shopping for new shoes so yeah. question number two what type of music are you into right now i'm into r b just slow music why because whenever i listen to music now it's just to calm me down just right before going to bed or sometimes on a ride or a bus ride to train that's usually what i'm doing just to calm me down or just even in the shower sometimes just listen to music and chill. Right? One of my favorite artists actually right now is Akilani, uh, right? Oh my goodness, everything. I just, don't, I just don't know why I love that song, but that song, just like listening to it in the shower, just relaxes the hell out. Moving on to question number three. What was the best vacation you ever took and why? Going back to when I was 17, I went on a trip to Toronto with my boys to a Veld concert. My very first concert ever. And you would think, okay, you went to a Velt concert, it was a three-day concert, you were drinking, you were doing all of that. No, no drinking was involved, just me and my friends, it just fun, right? Staying up all night, talking all night, there was a few fights that happened between my friends, no more, you know, all these guys, like, it's natural. <laughs> right? The reason why I loved this so much was just, you know, because I was with my friends and it was the first time I've ever been to a concert. And on top of that, I seen Tory Lanez live, Post Malone live, Migos live. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I literally touched Tory Lanez that day. I literally helped get him up because he was surfing. It was, it was crowd surfing. Right? I literally touched him grab them up. I even I even grabbed the guy that tried stealing his shoes from that concert. It was funny. Question four now. Where is your next place on your travel bucket list and why? I thought about it like I really you know I have friends in South Korea, I have a friend in Japan, but he's not in Japan anymore, he's in London now actually. I have friends all over different places in the world, right? But you know where I really want to go back to is Nigeria. And the reason why is because I have my grandma that's living there on my dad's side, right? That was just something I decided to do right after my grandpa died. I'm like, okay, I need to find time to visit. The reason I haven't gone back was because, you know, football. That's the next place I'm definitely going. Going back to Lagos, Nigeria, seeing my grandma. Moving on to the fifth question. What are your hobbies? How did you get into them? Hobbies. Man, my hobbies. Apart from football, I don't think I really have any hobbies, man. What do I do in my free time that I love doing? Two thousand years later. I really love reading. I got into reading through my business. And ever since that, I don't think I can really let it go. When I'm saying reading, I'm not talking about reading Instagram posts. Or reading Twitter, you know, none of that. I'm talking about grabbing a book and really reading. Moving up to question six, what is your favorite age growing up? Man, I love my high school age, man. All those four years I spent in high school was like, damn, was one of the best years of my life because I met the greatest people, greatest teachers, greatest role models, like, friends that I had that, that ended up being long-term friends right now, right? And wow, it's just amazing. Those are definitely my favorite years growing up. Those four years I spent in high school really changed everything, right? I think it really marked out for my life, to be honest. Moving on to question seven, what is the last thing you read? This book by David Goggins, Can't Hurt Me very great book i haven't really finished reading it yet but i'm gonna get into it soon enough i just have a little bit left shout out to the friend that wounded to me you're a real one quick answer 
John Maxwell, the 17th indiscutable law of Timo. That's pretty much it. Moving on to question eight, would you say you're more of an extrovert or an introvert? I'm a mix of both, right? New people that, that just meet me, they tell me all the time, man, you're an extrovert. You like to meet new people, like to do different things, right? I've done that several times, but honestly, I feel like I'm an introvert because there are times I know I could be interacting with somebody, but you know, there's just sometimes I just evade them. I just like to be by myself sometimes. So I do do that. It's not the, it's not the best quality, but it's something I do. So I feel like to people, I am an extrovert, but for me, sometimes I love just having that piece of time for myself sometimes, right? Which is important. Uh, moving on to question nine, what's your favorite ice cream topping? I feel like topping is a little sauce thing, no? Favorite topping will probably be chocolate. So moving on to question number 10, what was the last TV show you binge watched? The last one I binge watched was off a recommendation that my South Korean friend gave me actually. It's obviously a South Korean show, duh. It was uh, The Young Guy Turning Woo. And I really enjoyed the show, it was just, it was really good, it was an excellent show. Thanks for that recommendation by the way. 11. Are you into podcasts or do you only listen to music? I'll say the past month, two months, I've been listening to any podcasts. But before I was listening to podcasts, one, one podcast I was listening to was Darren Daily. It's a sick podcast. It gives you like challenges daily on something to improve on. So it was pretty cool. Currently, I'm listening to music. But because of this question, I might start doing podcasts again, actually. Question 12. Do you have a favorite holiday? Why or why not? My favorite holiday is Eid and why is you're fasting, you're fasting for 30 days and then that day which is Eid where you get to eat, eat and fill your belly and get money on top of it and some presents from family members definitely the best holiday for me and so on to question 13 if you could eat one food for the rest of your life what would it be? Probably be a combo or a plate of food, right? So I'll be talking chicken as the main protein. I want to say pounded yam, but that's a really heavy, like if you guys know what pounded yam is with egusi soup, no, spinach soup for sure. Yeah, that is a, it's a heavy combo to eat all the time. So I'll pick jollof rice, plantain, and chicken. Jollof, plantain, chicken. That's the right call. You like going to the movies or watching it at home? I was going to the movie theaters a lot. Because one, the movie theater was close to my school. So going to the movies, I love going to the movies. I stopped going to the movies because my friends stopped going to the movies as well. Everybody got busy after. If I had to pick going to the movies or watching it at home, watching it at home now because I feel like going to the movies is just a waste of time. It's not a waste of time, but it's just like there's Netflix, there's so many other things out there that, you know. So at the theaters, it's just like, I don't know, it's kind of pointless now, but. I mean, once in a while it's not bad, but if I had to pick, I like doing both. Question 15, what's your favorite sleeping position? I love sleeping on my side like that but now I usually just sleep on my back the most comfortable position is definitely on my side but now I do sleep on my back my favorite sleeping position would then will probably be on my side because it's the most comfortable so the last question what is your go-to guilty pleasure your go-to guilty pleasure that would probably be chocolate there's nothing else to say. It's just chocolate. Like, it's just so good. Oh. But when I eat it, damn. I just, I always just like, go back to just, I just melt when I eat chocolate. Like, man, I miss, I miss Halloween so much. <laughs> and the funny thing is we're in October. Yeah, oh, we went through all the questions. That is it for today's video. And just don't forget to like, share, and subscribe 
Until next time, much love. Abdul signing out. Ciao.